Hey there, guys. Welcome to Shitpost Saturday, where we talk about all things uh, shitty and not I informative. Kind of weird to have a Shitpost Saturday after we just had like a Shitpost week, uh, but that was kind of just a celebration of me returning to YouTube after like two months. Yeah, I went a little wild with the uploads. But we're going to try to contain it to just Saturdays because I don't have my channel turned into like a, a Jeremy or a Kevin situation. You know, you got to really keep an eye on, on what you're uploading before uh, all of a sudden every video just turns into a shit post. So, yeah, what are we doing for this shit post Saturday? Well, today I'm going to be taking down and crushing the most annoying channel on YouTube. And that's a little hyperbolic, because I'm, I'm not taking this guy down at all. I, I barely care about the channel. I just wanted to complain about him, because he's that annoying. There's really nothing here to even take down, because his content is so boring that there's, no, there's nothing to really talk about. But, for those of you who have not seen Pete J. Dunn before, this guy is just a, a spammer. Like, you, you know those comments on every video that are like, just obviously bots trying to, like, scam people out of money. I mean, this is basically what that guy does. He, he has a bot set up to where every time a big investing channel uploads a video, like, uh, you know, the, the classics, Jeremy, Kevin, Andre, Graham, this guy's a bot that just automatically copy and paste the same comment onto every video. Uh, like this one he posted on Jeremy's video the other day. It says, Jeremy and the money gang are at it again. I am inspired by his channel. Jeremy inspires me to continue my own YouTube channel on finance and investing. And it's it's all he posts. It's the only comment he ever posts. As you see, he's posted it like 130 times. It's it, it's just spam. And and the worst part is 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 how disingenuous it is cuz it's posting the second the video uploads. So he obviously didn't watch it. He obviously doesn't care about the content. He's, he's, he's literally fake complimenting these people so that he can plug his own channel. And that is that is incredibly, incredibly short-sighted. Uh, honestly, I think what this video is is a lesson to people who want to make their own YouTube channel or grow anything. If you want to create anything in life, uh, don't fake relationships just to, like, get personal benefit out of it. Uh, you know, like what this guy's doing. Do you think this is going to work out in the long run? Having a bot copy and paste a comment onto every single video of someone's channel? Do you think 10 years from now, like, if, if his if his channel does get big, do you think 10 years from now he's going to ask, like, Andre or Graham or someone, like, hey, do you want to collab on a video? They're going to go, oh, are you that guy who had a bot spam my channel every time I uploaded, promoting your own channel and not actually caring about me whatsoever? Yeah, why would I want to collab with you? You're you're clearly collabing just to benefit yourself. You don't you don't care about working with me. You don't care about making good content. Why would I want to work with you? It shows it's so short sighted. Uh, build genuine relationships with people. Uh, you know, hang out with people you actually want to talk to. You know, if if Andre like came to me and said he wanted to like you know collab and stuff, if if I genuinely liked him, yeah, I would do it. Or if if you know, if it turns out I didn't like him, like we didn't get along talking, I'm not going to pretend to be his friend just to, like, milk his channel. Like, that's not going to work in the long run. Build genuine relationships. That's the most important lesson from this. Build genuine relationships. But if you are going to build fake relationships like this guy is, if you're going to spam and advertise your channel all over YouTube, don't you think maybe, just maybe, before you did that, he must have made sure his videos were really good, right? Because Andre makes some of the best videos on YouTube. He's a professional video maker. You know, his edits, his video videography, whatever the word is, it's top tier. His, his videos are beautiful. So if Pete J. Dunn here, which I don't even know if that's a real name. I don't even know if that's a real profile picture. That looks computer generated. That looks like something you'd see on a thumbnail. Like, I met the Wally Captain IRL with like a bunch of red arrows pointing at it. If somebody just finished watching one of Andre's videos, something super well put together and edited, and they decide, hey, I'm going to check out Pete Dunn. I saw his comment down below. I'm going to check out his channel. He must have pretty good videos, right? That would make people subscribe and stick around. Well, let's check out a video, and I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, today, we're going to be watching how to use VBA and Microsoft Excel to calculate the delta of a European call and put option. Yeah, that's what Andre and Jeremy viewers want to watch. You think somebody's going to watch a Jeremy video about, like, Tattooed Chef and then be like, 
Man, I wonder if I could use Microsoft Excel to calculate the delta of a European put and call option. <laughs> what a mismatch, right? In in terms of video content. Like you think if you're gonna advertise on somebody's channel, it would at least be related. Like this is barely even related. It's in the subject of investment. But I mean that's that's as what as deep as it goes. I don't think anybody from these channels are gonna want to come over and watch something like this. But let's say they do, right? Let's say they do want to come over and learn how to do this. What kind of quality are we looking at? What kind of quality video are we looking at here? Let's find out. Let's click on this. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him a minute to wow me, and I'll decide whether I want to subscribe or not. This video teaches you how to use Visual Basic for application. What the fuck is this? Just imagine, imagine coming from an Andre video, and then immediately diving into giant screencast o -matic recording watermark right here. I, I had a watermark on my videos in 2014 when I was like in high school and had no money and didn't know better. You can get OBS for free. There's no watermark. Why would you ever in 2022 be uploading? He, he can figure out how to have a bot spam people's channels but can't get free recording software? Why would you ever be posting videos with a watermark on it? That's like going to a... a it's like going to a job interview and you're like, oh, I forgot to put my shoes on. Like that that's that's such a minor step of quality. They should be able to figure that one out first. On top of that, what am I looking at? Why am I starting on a on a blank desktop screen with a with uh, you don't have to have a webcam, but it it helps. And you definitely shouldn't be using your built-in computer. I can't tell if that's like a built-in mic to the computer. That's like a, a webcam mic or something. It's probably not a webcam mic because his webcam's not on. Everything about this is horrible. But I, look, I said I was going to give him a minute. So look, let's find out how to use Microsoft Excel to calculate the delta of a European call and put option. This is this is what all all the spamming and bots. This is what this is what this led us to. This. Maybe, maybe even though the quality is so bad, even though the quality is so, so bad, maybe it's so informative that I'm still going to get value out of this and subscribe. Code in Microsoft Excel to calculate the delta of a European put option and European call option. I'm not using any music in this part of the video. There will only be music at the end of the video. So please let me know if you like this new format with no music for the body of the video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button. Let's get into it. Start by opening Excel, press the Microsoft key. On your okay, just just a word of advice, guys. If, if you want to be a YouTuber and you're making Excel tutorials, you can just have Excel open already. I don't think it, nobody's going to be confused. If you start if you started the video with Excel already open, nobody's going to sit there going, "Well, how the fuck did he get there? What do you, how do you what? How do you how do you open that? What the fuck? Like you can just start you can start with it open. That doesn't have to be the first the first step. Uh, I'm already bored. Wow, that was awful. That was awful. The uh what why did it sound like he was in like a time dilation or something? Like he talked he talked really slowly like this, and there were really long pauses randomly between sentences. Sometimes I have pauses in my vid videos, but I just edit them out so that you don't sit here for 13 minutes for what's probably like two minutes worth of talking step one open excel well holy fuck that was bad like that was really really bad and let that let the, this is a lesson this video is a lesson anyone who wants to make a youtube channel or anything in general like if you if this applies to any business you want to start or youtube channel etc no amount of spamming and advertising like this guy does will ever it will never make up for a lack of quality give this guy a billion dollar advertising budget give this guy a billion dollars to spend on youtube adsense you know plug plug his channel on every single video everywhere all over youtube this guy is not going to break 100 views a video because it's so garbage it's so the quality is horrible pete 
get rid of the watermark first off buy a microphone before maybe focus on that before getting bots scripted to spam your channel everywhere that should have been step one like think i i love using tesla as an example for stuff you know people say tesla only had a trillion dollar market cap because elon musk was like you know memeing all over twitter and he's a meme lord and was power the retail investors yeah that that helped i'm sure it did but it, it, it could have never made up for a lack of quality. Like, Tesla cars, if you hit the start button and the car exploded, no amount of meme stock magic would have gotten it to a trillion dollars. There was actual underlying quality of cars that people wanted to drive. Pete has, has bypassed that. He said, fuck it. <laughs> My videos are going to be shit, and people are just going to watch it because I'm, I'm spamming the YouTube comments section. It doesn't work like that. Make a quality product, and you're going to be rewarded. That's how it give value to people's lives. You're going to be rewarded. That's how it works. Not faking relationships. Not giving ungenuine, ingenuine, whatever the word is, compliments. Uh, and not being a bot. God, I, I just had to get this off my chest. It, he annoyed me to no fucking end. I've never even talked to the guy, and he still annoyed me that much. So thanks for letting me do this therapy session where I got to complain about this guy real quick. And, uh, yeah, um, forecast for the rest of the week. Um, I may, I don't know for sure yet, I may have something special in the works coming out tomorrow. It's not definite yet. Uh, may have something special coming out on Sunday. And definitely on Tuesday, we're going to have kind of like part three in the finale of this kind of series I've been doing the last week where we kind of talk about the psychology of, of you know, stocks going down and, and why, you know, that's good for buyers of stocks and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching Shitpost Saturday. Hope you guys have a great weekend, guys.